it's day nine. Wow. Welcome again. Thank you. I hope you're already. I'm so excited to be with you. So as you all know, my name is Franklin Emmanuel. I'm happy to see all of you. I hope you're happy to see me too again. So I'm here with a new face today. Uh, Good evening, yourself. everyone. My name is Femi Adeneyi and I am a tutor and an interpreter for iSign. Oh, thank you, Femi. So today, for the first time in our class, we're going to be learning sentences, how to construct simple sentences. I noticed that some of us in the, in the class are already finding ways to craft out their own sentences. I've been receiving videos um, privately on that, and that's very commendable. But I think for the majority of us, we don't know how to put all these vocabularies we've learned to form them, form them into sentences. So that's what we're going to be learning today. But we also know that it's going to be very difficult to, you know, construct a sentence without certain words. Imagine signing this is a boy without the sign is. So we're going to first be learning how to sign two letter words like is, um, um, be, and so, and stuff like that. And after we're done, we're going to move in to learning sentences. So it's actually very exciting. I hope you're ready. So we'll start learning right now. Your eye hand, bring it here, then bring it forward. Is, is, is. Your A hand, bring it to your mouth and bring it out. Um, um, um. Your B hand, bring it to your mouth and B. B, B. Your B and just spell B Y, B Y, B Y. Bye. Then so, S O, so, so, so. Carry your index finger. Then touch the tip of the other index finger. Two, 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 two. Remember our sign for past, past. Now to sign was, we need to use our initial W and then we place it beside our head. Then move it back to end in an S. Was, was, was. We use our W and again, then when it goes back, it changes into an R, where, where. So let's start to learn sentences. We're going to do um, very simple sentences with the words that we've been learning um, in the past. So let's start with the first sentence. This is a boy. Again, this is a boy. How do we sign that? We want to sign for this, this. This is is a boy. Boy. I know you know all the signs. So this is a boy. So let's do another sentence. Let's do we are family. We. My design for we. If you do not know these signs, just go back to the previous lessons and rewatch so that you'll be able to catch up. So again, we, we, are, you just learned the sign for are now. So, are, 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 who remembers the sign for family? Family. Family. We are family. So let's do another sentence. Let's do, I am my father's son. I am my father's son. I am my father's son. That, uh, I mean, most people like to say that, to feel proud. It's good. So let's do, I am my father's son. I, sign for I, I am, am, my, my father father son or son let's do the fourth one these are my children 
these are my children who remember the sign for these 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 just um just spread your hands over what you're talking about so just let's imagine that um the children is here let's say these these so these are my children 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 these are my children so we're already um, making sentences with sign language and communicating already they're very basic we know but let's try to learn how to sign this first let's do the fifth one if you notice already we're using um family related words we know that we are we are accustomed to that one so let's use the, we're using those ones to um let, make the sentences today so let's do um that is his uncle that is his uncle remember the sign for that who remember the sign for that 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 or you can just point to the person no let's say the person is here we point that that so that or that is his his uncle uncle so we've made five sentences now by the way one last sign what is the sign for sentence anybody remember that one sentence oh, i won't touch you so here's the sign for sentence you hold your hands like this your um middle finger and your thumb the same thing for the second hand the middle finger and the thumb they come together and say sentence 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 okay so we're done so thank you all for attending to this class thank you all for participating those who participated anyway thank you for participating for sending in your videos so there's a new arrangement you have assignments for me you are going to sign two sentences of your choice you make a video of yourself signing those two sentences and make sure it's different from the ones you used in the class keep them safe till wednesday the anchor on wednesday is going to ask you for those videos so that means that you have an assignment make sure you do it if there's any time you don't know you need to catch up on um go to the youtube uh, channel rewatch the video so you can be able to sign it you can pick sentences that include the words that were used for this class so far so that you don't get confused another thing i would like to let you know is that there are time sign language tools online that you yourself could use to learn at your own pace there are websites that offer amazing resources for learners of all ages for teachers too let me give you one thank me later um, you can go to signingsavvy.com www.signingsavvy.com here you will find amazing resources for all learners you can learn signs learn finger spellings learn, learn numbers and there are also other amazing features for um, teachers themselves resources for teachers i know that there are a lot of teachers in this community some have contacted me personally so thank you all for attending to this class the next class will be next Wednesday. So from now to next Wednesday, you have the opportunity to sign those two sentences, make a video of yourself signing the two sentences, and keep them. Before we send these lessons on Wednesday, we'll ask you to send them. So let's see who's uh, most uh, studious in this class. So from now till next Wednesday, goodbye from Franklin and Femi. Bye-bye.